Will Elon Musk be the richest man on Mars? Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Well, definitely yes, Elon Musk, re-crowned as the world's richest person, has grand plans for the roughly $200 billion net worth. He is the richest person and also is going to be in Mars. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX plans to dedicate as much money as he can to colonizing Mars, and he's selling most of the material possessions in the process. The billionaire said in December interview with Matthias Dopfner, the CEO of Insider's parent company, Axel Springer. In fact, I'll have basically almost no possessions with a monetary value apart from the stock in the companies, Musk told him. If things aren't intense at work, I like just sleeping in the factory or at the office, and I obviously need a place if my kids are there. The boring company tunnel starts just there next to the SpaceX parking garage. Oh, is that right? How, 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 how long is that tunnel? Uh, that's about a mile and a half. Wow. So I'll just rent a place or something. Musk announced last May that he planned to sell almost all of his belongings and that he will own no house since the entrepreneur has sold off several homes in the real estate portfolio, which was once worth upward of almost $100 million. In 2020, Musk sold several high dollar pieces of property, including three neighboring homes in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles and an estate formerly belonging to the actor Gene Wilder. Musk might well be parting ways with his California real estate as part of his move to Texas, which has no state income tax. But the billionaire also told Doffner he was accumulating wealth not for material possessions, but to eventually fund a colony on Mars. And they're working on, say, uh, the, the, the paint shop, the body shop where we weld up the body, um, the uh, uh, final assembly where we put all the parts together. Something, it's okay, you're not gonna care that much, but if you, you get love the reactions something, from the highs and the lows. Yeah, so you gotta make sure people it, really love you're gonna, it. It's, yeah. You're gonna talk, you know, and, and, and then that'll generate word, generate word of mouth. I think it's important for humanity to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species. And it's going to take a lot of resources to build a city on Mars, Musk said. I want to be able to contribute as much as possible to the city on Mars. That means just a lot of capital. To Musk, parting ways with the material possessions also signals that he's committed to going to Mars. I'm also just trying to make clear that I'm serious about this, he said. And it's not about personal consumption, because people attack me and say, oh, he's got all these possessions, he's got all these houses, okay, now I don't have them anymore. Right. And you know, you had a tube and a pointy tube, <laughs> yeah, and now right. you've got this! I mean, how do, yeah. you, how do you do that? Is it just sheer will? Is um, everyone that driven about the goal? Super hard, yeah. and uh, the and and just have ha, t taking the general approach of if, if if a design is taking too long, the design is wrong. As Musk's net worth eclipsed that of Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos for the first time thanks to an early morning Tesla stock rally on January 7th, the CEO changed a pin post on the Twitter profile to a 2018 tweet in which he promised to commit half of his wealth to building a city on Mars to ensure continuation of life of all species. In case Earth gets hit by a meteor like the dinosaurs or World War III happens and we destroy ourselves. The SpaceX founder has said he plans to send 1 million people to Mars by 2050 and build a fleet of 1,000 starships to ferry them there. Musk aims to launch three of the 387-foot rocket SpaceX's, developing for deep space travel each day. And lest you think a trip to Mars is too expensive for most people, Musk has said he intends for there to be loans available for those who don't have money and jobs on the red planet for colonists to pay off their debts. Some critics say Musk plans reassemble an interplanetary form of indentured servitude. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any amazing video from us.